Howdy y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of Legendary, a James Bond deck building game, The Expansion. This is an expansion for Legendary, which is a deck building game that is for one to five players that takes 30 to 60 minutes to play for ages 14 up. Howdy y'all. Thank you for joining us today as we do this box opening for the Legendary James Bond deck building game expansion. As you can see, it just basically adds 300 cards to the Legendary game. If you just play with just the James Bond stuff, this should be pretty cool. I'm anxious to see because I'm, I'm one of those few people that mixes everything. So when I go to mix this, I'm curious to see if this answers some of the clunkiness from mixing in the James Bond stuff into the regular. All right, let's take a look inside. We got the rule book. It said the rule book and 300 cards. So, yep, I'm expecting a lot of stuff there. Uh, see, this looks like it's in any semblance of order, but if it's anything like the other legendaries, it's not. It's going to be kind of all over the place. But we're going to try to check what we can. So, we got the little rule book. Basically, let you know here, it adds two new movies to the James Bond deck building game, On Her Majesty's Service and License to Kill. Let you know what add, what to do for the On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Let you know about License to Kill. Let you know about the new special gadgets. Let you know the new ability for Impersonate. Let you know about the special ability for Rogue Agent. Let you know about the Brainwash ability. More on the brainwash ability. Angels of Death. Create Omega Virus. Cartel cards. Oh, that one's a little big. So I'll show you most of it here and then move down. Sorry if I'm not leaving these up long enough. You just go back and pause if you really want to read. We got the payoff. Keyword. Then we have additional rules and clarifications, alternate scheme twist setups, searching your deck, Alpine Avalanche and Trigger the Avalanche, Bobsled, Champagne for Two, Escape the Exploding Tanker. Expand Drug Empire. Fraud Sanchez. Irma Bunt. Piz Gloria Base. You have good luck tonight. And then some solo play clarifications. And then a correction in the rule books. Uh, 
And then all the game contents from this, let you know there's 10 hero cards in there with 14 each. And the same thing you should always look for, there's one rare, three uncommons, five of one common, and five of another common. Two villain groups of eight cards each. Two new mission groups of nine cards each. Two different henchmen villain groups of 10 cards each. 16 007 basic starter heroes. I guess just adding in those James Bond pictures if that's what you're looking for. Eight double O agent basic starter heroes. Two sets of special starter decks for two eras of James Bond. Five cards each, six Miss Money Penny starter allies, six gadgets, six wounds, two masterminds each with four mastermind tactics, four different schemes, and then 40 extra cards. I'm assuming the extra cards are the stuff to help out. Like if you played the original James Bond one, then you saw there was a lot of little things like gold and stuff like that that had its effect on the game. All right, let's just break into one of these and see what we got here. So right off the bat, yeah, we have the Lazenby, I believe. Sorry, it's been a while since so I've watched the James Bonds or paid attention to them. So it looks like, yeah, the starter cards they mentioned that they would put in there. So that if you want to play the whole Lazenby for your whole deck. And then there's the basic starter strikes. And then they got the special starters that come from the movie. The special field issue, you get plus two strike if you played an equipment hero this turn. Special upgrades, you get plus two strike if you played a vehicle hero this turn. Champagne for two, you get plus two recruit if you played a Tracy Bond hero this turn. MI6, you get plus two recruit if you played an Allies hero this turn. Bond, James Bond, you get plus two strike if you played a James Bond hero this turn. So these seem a lot more specific to the James Bond. All right, so right off the bat we have this iteration of James Bond. So the impersonate ability tells in there and you can see it adds some impersonate. And then we should have five of these, three, four, five. Then we have to the rescue. Flash trigger, you get plus two strike. One, two, three, four, five. So that's both his commons. And then we have live up to your high standards. When you impersonate this hero for the first time each turn, you draw a card. This is probably his uncommon. One, two, three. And then we have his ultimate, Operation Bedlam. Strike from this hero can't be used to fight the mastermind unless the villain deck is empty. Then we have Tracy Bond. Suppose I were to kill you, impersonate with strike. Two, three, four, five. Something eats at her soul. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a hero or a wound, you may KO it. One, two, three, four, five. All the time in the world. While this is in Q branch, you may recruit it for three less if you gain a James Bond hero this turn. One, two, three. And then Contessa Therese de Vincenzo. This turn you may spend any amount of strike as recruit instead. Then we have a vehicle for Honor Majesty's Secret Service. We got the bobsled. You get plus one strike that can only be used against the leftmost villain or mission on assignment. And there's five of those. We have the cable car lift. Look at the bottom card of your deck, put it on top of your deck or discard it. We got five of those. Mercy flight helicopter, impersonate, double strike. Three of those. Ice track getaway car, impersonate, double recruit, double strike. And we have an equipment, electromagnetic safe cracker. Technology trigger, choose one, draw a card now, or draw an extra card when you draw a new hand at the end of this turn. Four, five. 
snow skis, yellow, uh, yellow trigger, flash trigger. You may move a villain or mission on assignment to any space if there's already a villain or mission there. There, swap them. A little bit of a misprint there. Glove box rifle. You must discard two cards from your hand to play this hero. Cool if you could discard two starters. And then a wedding ring. If you've seen the movie, it makes sense. Once this turn, you may recruit a hero. You may gain. When you recruit a hero, you may gain a second hero from Q Branch with the same cost or lower. And then we got the allies, which is M. Trigger, class trigger, if your special starter is in your deck or discard pile, put it into your hand. Otherwise, draw a card. Five. Mark Ange Draco. Uh, Mark Ange Draco, gain a wound. Class trigger, ignore the above text. Four, five. Draco's assault team, impersonate, double recruit. Sorry, I really don't, I didn't read over the impersonate, so. And then Miss Money Penny, or Mrs. Money Penny. Each time you play a James Bond hero this turn, draw a card. Each time you play a Tracy Bond hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand or discard pile. And then we have the Miss Money Pennies to add into the deck. And some more Miss Money Pennies to add to the deck. Gadgets to add to the bystander or gadget deck. When you acquired a gadget, draw a card. It's a makeshift key. And we have plastic explosives. When you acquire this gadget, you may KO a hero in your hand or discard pile. And then we have a wound. All right. Oh, trying to do this without scratching the back of the card with my finger now. There we go. And then now we have probably the ones from, or should be if it was like that last one, the ones from License to Kill and Dalton. So here's his starters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. More starters. Three, four. Four, okay. Special starter, standard field issue. Draw a card. The next time you recruit a blue hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand, play area, or discard pile. I believe that's the mental. I can't remember. I always get the yellow and blue one mixed up. That's why you'll probably hear me mess them up all the time. Special upgrades. Draw a card. The next time you recruit a technology hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand, play area, or discard pile. Shaken, not stirred, draw a card. The next time you recruit a yellow hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand, play area, or discard pile. MI6, draw a card. The next time you recruit a red hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand, play area, or discard pile. Bond, James Bond, draw a card. The next time you recruit a strength hero this turn, you may KO a hero in your hand, play area, or discard pile. All right, we have James Bond himself. The Dalton version. Watch the birdie. Rogue agent. You get plus two strike. One, two, three, four, five. The best man. You must KO here in your hand to play this hero. One, two, three, four, five. A proper family reunion. Blue class trigger. You may KO a hero or wound in any friendly discard pile. Two, three. Strictly an observer, and if this hero is in your hand when a Master Striker Scheme Twist is played, reveal it to draw two cards. Mm. Must admit, Dalton is actually my favorite Bond. Why don't you wait till you're asked? Rogue Agent, draw two cards. This is Pam Bouvier. Or Bouvier. Bouvier, I don't know. I'm real bad at accents and names. Hit the deck and stay there. Class trigger, once this turn, you may KO a cartel card or fight a henchman for free. Two, three, four, five. Mrs. Kennedy, 
Reveal the top three cards of your deck, draw one and discard the others after a class trigger. And you have good luck tonight. Play Blackjack. Reveal cards from the top of the hero deck until their total cost is 19 or higher. If it's 19 to 20, gain a revealed card. 21, gain a revealed card to your hand. 22 plus or you bust, gain nothing. Shuffle the remaining cards back into the hero deck. Then we have Q. We have Uncle Q, acquire a gadget. Then if you have four more gadgets in your victory pile, you get plus two recruit. Two, three, four, five. Roadside Surveillance. Rogue Agent. This hero has all class symbols this turn. Two, three, four, five. Bonds Faithful Chauffeur. chauffeur cho oh my god. Bonds Faithful Chauffeur. Technology Trigger. You get plus three recruit. They can only be used to recruit James Bond heroes this turn. There's three. Explosive Toothpaste. Straight trigger, you get plus one strike. Once this turn, you may ignore the fight effect of a villain. And 007 always comes back. This turn, you may spend any amount of recruit as strike instead. Haha, -ha. I thought that was strange. Because I just got carried away with reading and not paying attention. Because we got into the equipment already. We already talked about explosive toothpaste. There's five of those. Manta Ray Disguise. Once this turn, you may put a card from any friendly player's discard pile on the bottom of their deck with a technology trigger. Three, four, five. Leader's Lighter. Trigger, you may KO a hero in your hand. Rogue Agent, you get plus four strike. Two, three. Signature Gun. At the end of your turn, instead of discarding this hero, you may choose another friendly player to gain it. When you would play it, put it into your hand instead, and they draw a card. And now we have our allies. Like I said, I'll butcher them. Is it Lupe, 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 Lamora? KO a wound in any friend play, friendly player's hand, deck, or discard pile. Felix Leiter, you get plus one strike this turn. They can only be used to fight the Mastermind or to KO a Cartel card on the Mastermind. Four, five. We got M, put any number of cards from Q Branch on the bottom of the hero deck. Rogue Agent, gain a card with Rogue Agent from Q Branch for free. Three. And we have Sharky. Look at the bottom two cards of your deck, draw any of them, and KO the rest. This says on our Majesty's Secret Service Extra, so apparently they didn't do that. Alright, Angel of Death. This hero can't be KO'd. Disperse Virus. Discard each basic starter hero in your hand. Two... Another Angel of Death, this hero can't be KO'd, Disperse Virus, move the leftmost card on assignment to the left one space. Another Angel of Death, this hero can't be KO'd, Disperse Virus, KO hero in your hand or discard pile with two strike or more. Angel of Death, this hero can't be KO'd, Disperse Virus, gain two wounds. I guess that makes sense, I think the other Money Penny was the one for these. Angel of Death, this hero can't be KO'd, Disperse Virus, discard the highest cost hero in your hand. And then we have more wounds. All right. Last stack of cards. This should be mostly villains, masterminds, and then I guess the wounds count as some of the extra cards. All right, here we go. We have. Ernest Stavro Blowfield always leads on her Majesty's Service villain group, Mass Strike Brainwash. 
The highest cost hero in Q branch. If there's a tie, brainwash the leftmost of them. Escape. When a villain escapes, starting with you and going clockwise, each player gains a wound until one has been gained for each escaped villain. Hmm. Then we have the Piz Gloria base. Fight. Acquire five gadgets. Put these next to the mastermind. It can be fought or defeated while the base is next to it. Players may spend any amount of strike to damage the base each turn. Once it has taken 15 damage, KO it. Oh. Sorry. Release the Angels of Death. A random hero would cost one or more in your discard pile. Brainwash a random hero would cost one or more from your discard pile. If there were no heroes in your discard pile, brainwash the leftmost hero in the headquarters, in the Q branch instead. Trigger the Avalanche. Destroy the right mode fight. Destroy the right most on assignment space. If there's a card there, move it to the left one space. I could make you my Countess. Fight. When you draw a new hand at the end of your turn, discard each hero from it. At least one with at least one recruit. Condition the Angels of Death. Scheme always use. Condition the Angel of Death mission group. Set up five scheme twists, two in B, three in C. Shuffle the ten Angel of Death card, extra cards into the hero deck. Twist each Angel of Death disperse her virus. And then Evil Wins, danger level six. Create Omega Virus. Five scheme twists, set up, scheme. Special rules, when a player gains a wound, put it next to them instead of into their discard pile. If a player ever has seven or more wounds, evil wins. If an effect says the KO wound in a player's hand, deck, or discard pile, KO one next to that player instead. Once per turn, the active player may take the heal action to KO one of their wounds. Twist, choose a friendly player to gain wounds equal to the number of twists played this game. Evil wins, danger level seven. All right, we got the Piz Gloria helicopter, flying, ambush, the active player gains a wound. Com Comte Balthazar de Belochamp. Put the next fight, put this next to the mastermind. The next time a player fights the mastermind, cancel its mastermind tactic, then that player gains that tactic and his villain, and this villain. Irma Bunt, no fraternizing. Spectre Pursuers, Chase, this gets minus three if you play the Vehicle Hero this turn. Irma Butt, no fraternizing. Spectre Agents, Fight, each player gains a wound. Alpine Avalanche, Escape, destroy the two rightmost on assignment spaces. If there are any cards there, move them to the left until those spaces are clear. Deadly Drive-By, Chase, Escape, each player KOs the highest cost hero in their discard pile with cost one or more. Save Tracy, Condition the Angels of Death. This gets minus two strike if you played Tracy Bond hero this turn. Opens the Safe. This gets minus two recruit if you played an equipment hero this turn. Escape Cable Car Machinery Room. This can be completed on a turn it moved. Rush Hour, Chase, this gets minus three recruit if you played a vehicle hero this turn. Assault the Mountain Stronghold, at the end of each turn, the active player gains a wound. Destroy Virus Lab, success, you and the friendly player may each KO up to three wounds in their hands and or discard pile. Survive the Bobsled Run, success, wound the Mastermind twice. Mr. and Miss James Bond, condition this gets minus five recruit if you play the James Bond and Tracy Bond hero this turn. Fatal shot. Inevitable success. Instead of defeating this, move it to the right one space. At the end of the turn, before you discard cards, KO each Tracy Bond and James Bond hero in your hand and play area. If you didn't have any, move this to the left one space. Failure, evil wins, inevitable. Henchmen, we got the Institute Guards. It's KO a wound in any friendly player's hand or discard pile. Two, three, and you can see they're the same. They just get a little stronger, but do the same ability. Three, four to five. We have Fraud Sanchez. Always leads license to kill villain group. Bash strike, count the number of master strikes. Played this game, put that many cartel cards on Sanchez. 
escape, count the number of escape villains, put that many cartel cards on villains and, and missions on assignment. He disagreed with something that ate him. Each player gains two wounds for each mastermind tactic they have. President of the Republic of Isthmus. You are now working for the fight. You are now working for the mastermind. Gain this card at the start of your turn. If this is in your hand, put it into your victory pile and play the top card of the villain deck. The perfect cover, fight, put three cartel cards on the mastermind. Keep the stingers close, fight, put two cartel cards on the rightmost villain or mission on assignment. If there aren't any on assignment, put the cartel cards on the mastermind instead. New schemes, expand drug empire, always use expand drug empire mission group. Five scheme twists, count the, as a twist, count the number of twists played this game. Put that many cartel cards on heroes in Q branch. Evil wins when danger level equals five. Escape custody, set up three scheme twists, one in A, B, and C. Twist, put the mastermind and any cards next to it or attached to it in the rightmost space on assignment. If it was already on assignment, put two cartel cards on it instead. Special rule, while the mastermind is on assignment, it can be fought normally. When fought, it goes back to the mastermind space. If it escapes, evil wins. Evil wins, danger level seven. Ed Killifer, fight, gain two wounds, payoff, three recruit. Clyde, fight, KO a hero in your hand. President Hector Lopez, fight, increase the danger level by one, payoff, five recruit. Perez, ambush, put a cartel card on the mastermind. Dario, ambush, the active player gains a wound, fight, gain a wound, escape, each player gains a wound. Truman Lodge, Fight, KO the highest cost hero in your hand, play area or discard pile. Payoff, six recruit. Professor Joe Butcher, fight, you draw three fewer cards at the end of this turn, payoff, seven recruit. Let's go fishing, you may complete this for free if you fought the mastermind this turn. Dario, license to kill, or yeah. Ambush, the active player gains two wounds, fight, gain two wounds, escape, each player gains two wounds. Ugh. Fly Felix to his wedding. Success. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. You earned it. You keep it, old buddy. Success. KO hero in your discard pile. Foil the exchange. Ambush. Put a cartel card on the mastermind. Assassination attempt. Failure. Put the neck. Put this next to the mastermind. The mastermind has plus two strike. Frame Milton Crest. Recruit from 007 Starter Heroes can't be used to complete this mission. Destroy the, Medit the Meditation Institute. Strike from 00 Agent Starter Heroes can't be used to complete this mission. Trucker tank, uh, Tanker Truck Chase. Slow Moving Chase. Escape the Exploding Tanker. Inevitable. Success. Instead of defeating this, move it to the right one space and it gains one cartel card for each time it was, it's been completed. Failure, evil wins. Wave crest dry, uh, divers, fight, draw the bottom card of your deck. And we can see these are the henchmen and they just progressively get stronger on the strike. Then we have illegal narcotics. When you KO this, gain a wound. And we have multiple different ways to KO those, the illegal narcotic, narcotics. We have the drug money. These are the extra cards. And there's multiple different recruits, as you can see, for the drug money. We got smuggled guns with multiples. A lot of multiples on smuggled guns. And then some wounds. All right, we're gonna mix this in, see how it plays. Thank you for watching and have a great day.